Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all. Today, I'm talking about the Ghostbusters movie. It's directed by um, Paul Figg. It's starring Kristen Wiig, Melissa McCarthy, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, Chris Hemsworth, and Neil Casey. In this movie here, you pretty much have a remake of the original Ghostbusters movie. This time, it's the whole cast is the whole Ghostbusters cast is all female. And this is their origin story of how they how they came together to pretty much stop the world from being taken over by ghosts. Now, before I go into it any further about the movie, I'm gonna let you know right now that there's gonna be some spoilers. So if you don't mind the movie being spoiled for you, I say come back later after you watch the movie, then watch this and we can go forward. Or if you don't mind, let's just keep going for it right now. Now, like I always do, before I get into the good, I'm going to start off with the bad. And the bad part is, okay, there's a lot of things that's, that I found I thought was kind of wrong with the movie, but the, the main part was, it wasn't funny. Now, when I saw the trailer for the first time, I had a feeling right there that this movie was not going to be good. And I wanted to be wrong, but the trailer wasn't funny to me. So I had, I had really low, low, low expectations. So when I went to the movie theater and I saw what I saw, well, I really wasn't surprised. Because the, the trailer showed me that the movie was going to suck. So when I saw the movie and the movie sucked, it actually did what it said it was going to do. Be bad. So in a way, I guess you could say that's a win. So yay for sucking. I mean... I mean, I knew it was going to suck when I saw the trailer, and the movie sucked, so therefore, I guess it did its job, I guess. Because the movie wasn't funny, the pacing was off, it felt like a lot of stuff got cut out. All right, there were scenes where you have um, Kate McKinnon's character, she plays Holtzman, and she pretty much builds everything. She builds all the gadgets, she builds the photon packs and everything, how they, how they trap the ghosts and everything. And every scene she was in, she just came back with, like, more new stuff. From, from where? I don't know. I guess she got it from the garbage, I guess. But how'd she get the, the right stuff that she needed to get this stuff? I mean, I don't know. And it never really showed how she built it, but it just happened. She just happened to build it, so it's just there. It happened so quickly and so fast all the time. Like, every time she said something new, I go thinking, where's she getting this stuff from? I don't, I don't know. And then you had, um, now you saw it in the trailers. Chris Hemsworth Kevin, um, Chris, Chris Hemsworth character Kevin, gets possessed by a ghost. Okay, now they had a scene when he was he, he pretty much took um the police and every on the police the military was going after Kevin to stop him from, from pretty much taking over the city with all with his whole ghost army. Now it made no sense they were coming out with, with guns to shoot ghosts, but whatever. But anyway. He possessed, he, 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 he was controlling the whole crowd and he made him get into a whole dance pose. Now, I thought that they're going to have him, had the whole crowd break out in, like, in a dance number, but it didn't happen. They just had them freeze there. And I said, why is this not happening? Why is nothing happening with this? Why, why is it in the picture? Why are they showing this and they're not doing nothing with it? So you, you find out at the end of the movie that it was a dance number. You found that at the end of the movie that there was a dance number. For some reason, they cut it out of the picture. Now, I don't know if that would make the movie better or made it worse or made it look maybe even cheesier. But I kind of wanted to see it just to see. Maybe it, would, it probably would have made me laugh because they showed Chris Hensburg dancing all around, dancing all goofy. And I said, that kind of, it probably could have worked. Maybe it probably made, made the movie a whole, a whole lot better. I don't know. It seemed like there's a lot of parts in this movie that were just cut out that maybe could have en enhanced the movie, gave more to the story. But it seemed like it was all cut out just to get them, just to make sure they became the Ghostbusters pretty fast. Because a lot of stuff you see in the trailer happens early on in the movie, really quickly, really fast. Yeah. Another problem with this picture right here, it didn't seem like it had a good balance between the two genres, between the, like the comedy. And the supernatural horror. It, it felt like they were going for more about the joke and more about the goofiness 
instead of the actual story. And the story hurt because of that. Yeah. Because I like all the actors in this picture, but, this, but the movie felt more like a spoof of Ghostbusters than an actual Ghostbusters movie. <sighs> That's messed up. But I gotta I got go even more about the details about how, how much I didn't like the movie, but this, it is what it is. So let's move on to the good now. The good part is, I actually do like all the actors in this picture. I don't think they were utilized well, but I think, but I do like the actors, and they do have potential and do have talent. But it just wasn't shown well here. Cause you had, yeah, I, okay, I, I don't feel like going anymore about the bad anymore. I'm trying to find the good now. Um, the special effects were oh, all right. I mean, it wasn't like impressive, mind blowing, but I thought it was okay. It wasn't that bad to me. Um. I mean, there was a scene with a mannequin that I actually did actually like. And I actually did enjoy that scene. I actually did enjoy that, that part. And, um, and I also liked how the fact that um, they had a lot of the original Ghostbusters, mostly all the original Ghostbusters was in, was in this picture right here. That was, it, was, it was fun to see them. That was cool. So overall, I did not like this movie at all. It was not for me. Hopefully, it will be for you if you go watch it. But don't take my word for it. If I give the movie a grade, I'm giving it a D. Yeah. Because I didn't enjoy it. I didn't have fun watching it, and it wasn't funny. But if you haven't seen it yet, don't take my word for it. I said, go check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you will have fun. You will have a good time. You will laugh and have a ball. Hopefully. But if you have already seen it, leave your comments down below and let me know what you thought about it. And if you're planning on going seeing it, I said, go see the movie. Hopefully you have fun. And after you watch it, come back to this little channel and let me know what you thought about it. I really would appreciate it. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So I wish I had some, some better news, but I don't. I mean, I don't like talking about bad movies. I, I really don't. I like to talk about movies that make me happy, and I'm going to share my happiness with you. But this time, it just wasn't there. I mean, if I look, if I look, if I look at it from like from a, a cup that's half full type of way, I mean, I can say this movie was not a disappointment. I can actually say that. I can honestly say this movie was not a disappointment because I, I I knew it was going to suck from the beginning from the trailer, and the movie sucked, and the game is the suckage. So therefore. It actually wasn't bad. If you're looking at it like that, I mean, I thought it was going to suck. The movie sucked. It delivered suckage. And I, it gave me exactly what I thought it was going to give me. So therefore, in a way, that's a win. Huh? And by the way it ended, it looks like it's going to be a sequel because they're missing Zool. So that could happen or maybe not. I don't know. I hope not. Or if it does happen, maybe it'll do, do it better the next time. Hopefully. I, I don't know. Well, like I said, go see it for yourself. So that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big like and thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A uh, peace out. Up uh, people's.